group has uh, been working on engineering new types of materials that are soft and stretchable and could be used for applications in wearable computing uh, and also machines and robots that can physically interact with humans. These are materials that could operate kind of like artificial muscle or materials that can reconfigure their shape and their stiffness. One class of materials that we've been particularly interested in are liquid metal alloys that are non-toxic, so alternatives to mercury, where by embedding them uh, inside rubber, we can make soft and stretchable circuits. Um, recently, we've also been looking at uses of liquid metal for uh, soft uh, actuators and uh, materials that have these shape-shifting properties. One obvious place uh, where soft and stretchable circuits uh, could be useful uh, are in applications related to wearable computing or, or devices that you can put on your skin uh, that uh, could be used as some type of uh, stretchable keypad uh, or touch input. Um, also, we, we've been uh, recently looking at um, ways of using stretchable circuits uh, for biosensing, so monitoring your physiological state. A nice feature of these liquid metals is that they have all the advantages of being liquid um, at, at room temperature, so they're highly deformable, you can seal them up in, in, a, in a rubber, um, and they can deform with the surrounding material, but they're also metal, and so they have very high electrical conductivity, also high thermal conductivity, uh, and in some cases, we can kind of use those, uh, the thermal response of these materials to uh, change their stiffness. Shape reconfigurable materials uh, are interesting uh, because you could imagine uh, creating, say, circuits that can dynamically uh, change their properties. Uh, imagine like an antenna, for example, where uh, you could use this shape-shifting effect uh, to change its uh, radio transmission properties, uh, or even uh, these, uh, like a liquid motor that, that pulsates and functions somewhat like an artificial muscle. Um, and so devices like this could be used in the next generation of soft microfluidic devices, um, lab on a chip uh, type technologies, and, and other types of uh, systems that should be soft and deformable and mimic some of the properties that we see in natural tissues and, and organs. But something that we've explored, and, and this is actually a collaboration with uh, John Malin's uh, group here in mechanical engineering, uh, is to explore ways of engineering soft rubbers that have the mechanical properties, the elasticity of just conventional, you know, typical rubbers that you're familiar with, but the thermal conductivity of metals. And one way we've done that is with this uh, new material architecture uh, that we call Thubber, which is a, basically a thermally conductive rubber um, that is uh, composed of a thin rubber film uh, embedded with this, uh, these microscale droplets uh, of that liquid metal. What makes working with these materials and, and working in these application domains so exciting is that it's a, such an interdisciplinary field. Our group approaches a lot of these challenges from the perspective of materials and, and mechanics, um, but we've had the opportunity to work with uh, people in the thermal sciences, in uh, you know, computer science and human machine interaction, electrical engineering, and, and uh, you know, we're always excited to, to learn new things and, and collaborate with, with labs, both at Carnegie Mellon and, and elsewhere.